Today was just one of those days where I was smiling and I was in too good of a mood. I knew I needed to humble myself, so I did what any sane man would do. I watched an episode of The Button to make myself upset. The Button is one of the weirdest dating shows on the internet, if you can even call it a dating show. It's more of just like a war between two people pretending to be romantically interested in each other in order to squeeze as much clout out of the production as possible. Hello. Hi. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. Did you get it at like a thrift store or something? Oh yeah, I got it from one of my friends. Yeah. Nice. I feel like this was such an aggressive opening here, like we were in round one of a boxing match and she came out swinging for the KO. Hey, nice shirt. Did you get it from a thrift shop? Like, it feels like it's almost an insult to him. I don't know if she meant it that way, but what if that's Trey's favorite shirt that his grandma gave to him and he wears on special occasions, you know? Like, what if what if he came out here and said, Yeah, thanks. I like your pants. Where'd you get those? Stupid town? How would you feel, huh? Trey makes 1,000 plus tortillas a day. I do make a lot of tortillas every day. For like work or? Yeah, that's how for, I make my money. Yeah, like, that's kind of what I do. I grew up eating a lot of Mexican food, so. Oh, really? I like tortillas. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. You know, if you're mm -hmm. hanging out with me, you can get fresh tortillas anytime. Nice. I gotta tell you, I don't think I've ever seen a wink executed in a way that comes across as anything other than odd. Like, that's usually just a conversation stopper. Nothing puts the brakes on a social experience quite like someone winking at you. Especially in the context here where they're talking about him making tortillas. I don't I don't know why he would wink after after talking about tortillas, but you know, God bless. Unfortunately it wasn't suave enough and he pays the price. I'm not a, too big of a fan of tortillas yeah. then, yeah. No. <laughs> Alright, like. can I get the fuck out of here? What's the, uh... Sure. Yeah, sounds good. That date lasted about 18 seconds, but it felt like it was an entire two-hour movie of sitting through that in real time. Abby hates feet. Why do you hate feet? Um, I just think they're really gross. <laughs> can you show her your feet? Do you want me to show you my feet? Yes, please. Oh, nice. Cool. How do we feel about the feet? Um... The button is the world's worst wingman. It just comes at you to like air out all of your dirtiest laundry for no reason. You'll be having a totally normal conversation and the button will chime in and say, Hey, this dude's got smegma on his wiener. What do you think about that? It, like out of nowhere. And then it immediately leads to situations like this. Though admittedly, the guy here does share some fault because after hearing that she doesn't like feet, I don't know why he'd agree to showing her his feet. He was doomed for failure from that point forward, but I appreciate the power move. Just throwing those tootsies out there for the world to see without a second thought. Kiss? Why did you reject me? Oh, um, I'm just not really like an outdoorsy person, but you, um, you're really No awesome. worries. Yeah, no, you. yeah, you're so nice. I actually respect this from the guy here. Plants both his feet, puts his stompers on the floor, puffs out his chest and says, Why did you reject me? As if it's any mystery. She hates feet and you just whipped out your stinky toes in front of her <laughs> and th I think that was pretty much put in the books from that point forward. But I do like that he tried to enter the DPS phase of the boss battle here by asking her like an explanation for the rejection for which she tried to come up with something saying that he's too outdoorsy because he mentioned climbing which I think is just the first thing she could think of. What makes you horny? Sorry? What makes you horny? What makes you horny? I don't know, this is weird. I'm an ass man. Mm -hmm. Is that... is that weird to say? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You can see this guy was itching from the jump to slam that button down. He said he did it for the boys because none of the guys got to press the button. Though we're only two contestants deep, so it's not like it's been all day. Or maybe it has. Maybe they just cut out a lot of content, not sure. But this man came in here on a mission. Said he was gonna take down the raid boss, and he did. And he also said that he was an ass man in the process, so, you know, good on ya. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Her brain had a glitch there, saying that her theory is he's not into white women. Don't know where that's coming from. He even explained to you why he did it. He did it because he just wanted to take a W home to the gentleman's locker room here, since none of the other guys got to press it before she did. And for some reason, she came up with like an excuse saying he's not into white women, perhaps. That has nothing to do with anything. Even if he had like a full conversation and he pressed the button still, it doesn't mean he's not into white women. It means he wasn't into you specifically. 
One. We did like this promo video for the kids, like this like rap Christian video, and I did it. Are we gonna? Oh, that's crazy. Fa okay, fashion wise, I the, the Kraken hat doesn't go with the sweater. They said my hat didn't go with my fit. I'm like, oh. oh, 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 oh. This show is more shallow than a toilet bowl. This It's getting so messy. Like, like, it is devolved into absolute madness. She rejected him because she didn't like his hat plus outfit combo. It, even though I have to agree with the guy, I thought that was a true combo of drip right there. I thought it looked fine. I thought the hat went well with it. Of course, I'm not exactly like a fashion icon or anything, but still. I don't know what she was seeing. Her eyes must have been closed. I thought it was totally fine. But maybe she would have preferred if he was wearing a moist esports hat, perhaps. Then she probably wouldn't have been able to stop herself from lunging over the table and just pouncing on the man in pure euphoria and ecstasy. That's just the power of moistglobal.com merch. You can find all kinds of incredible stuff in there that's pretty much guaranteed to get you laid. Uh, it would have worked here, I have no doubt. Would have turned this from a dating show into a full-blown porno. Oh, is that like the Rasputin? Oh, no. Nope. What is that? That's sturdy. The sturdy? Yeah. Why did you reject me? Okay. Because you didn't get sturdy. That was one of the sloppiest attempts I've ever seen. This was like a scarecrow trying to give the sturdy a whirl after watching a five second YouTube tutorial on it. But I have to appreciate and commend his bravery in whipping this shit out in front of her on their first date and for all of us to witness, including God as well, who was absolutely weeping when he saw this sturdy try. What are you looking for? Someone who's like easy going and having fun. You seem cool, but I want somebody that knows what they want. You know, and the whole like, you know, I don't know my vibe, kind of a little bit of a red flag for me. Revenge for the boys team here. He buzzes her and then gives an explanation for why. And to me, it just seems a little pretentious because she was explaining what she was looking for. His whole Reddit analysis here was her not knowing what she's looking for is a red flag, but she was explaining what she was looking for. She just prefaces it by saying she's not like a hundred percent sure, like it's not the strictest of guidelines, but she does have an idea of what she's looking for and was in the middle of explaining it, but he still buzzed her. Now, I don't know why I'm reading so deep into it. We just had someone get buzzed because the hat wasn't cool enough. Like, I don't even know why I'm trying to like <laughs> figure out their thought process here. His turn-ons are. What are your turn-ons? Um, I think like turn on wise, I am big on like, I'm a, uh, my love language is physical. Okay. So like turn ons wise, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to describe. It's one of those like. <laughs> you seem cool, but I'm sure she wants someone who knows what they want. And the fact that you don't really know your own vibe is a bit of a red flag. He just immediately did the thing he criticized the last girl for. Being unable to explain what turns him on, he's fumbling over every word, spaghetti's falling out of his butthole here, and it's getting a bit rough. You know, like, anything in this area, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, not, okay, not okay. like Not like porn star status, not uh, like that, uh, but like... I wasn't thinking of porn star, but now <laughs> I'm thinking like of that. porn star. <laughs> no. What about you? I just like when somebody kind of does, like, words of affirmation. No, no I that's totally my get kind that. Of thing. You know, kind of like they're reaffirming, the reaffirmation. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know how to talk. <laughs> it's okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know what this motion was when he said anything in this area. I don't exactly know what he was doing with his hands there. I'm not super familiar with sign language, but it didn't make any sense to me unless he's like a frilled neck lizard and his like frills are going to fire out to the side and that's one of his turn-ons. But it's about to go from bad to worse. So sorry to pause, but we need to fix something. No button, are you okay? Oh no. <laughs> she got a little bit. <laughs> Do you find Brian attractive? <laughs> are you asking me? Yeah. Kind of do. You get the strut going, you know? You got that going. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Rosia. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll, I'll just bow out. <laughs> Man, I just feel sad. Like, this is just painful, even as a spectator here. I could see that other guy's heart breaking, his soul crumbling to dust before him, getting cucked on his own dating show here because the button was malfunctioning, so they had one of their staff members named Brian come in and fix it, and he started stealing the girl right in front of him. Damn. It works. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Was that you testing it? Yeah, but real testing rejection? and rejection. <laughs> I feel so this was a more tragic story than Requiem for a Dream. After all of that, and then immediately getting buzzed for it, 
Jeepers. Zoinks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> as soon as he said wholesome, I'm non-toxic, wholesome I'm sorry. I don't believe you. <laughs> like, I don't believe you one bit. In her defense, when someone calls themselves a nice guy or like a really wholesome guy, they usually aren't. This conversation between the two of them only lasted like 15 seconds though. There is a chance that he was a nice person. But the fact that he said that almost immediately is alarming for most people, I imagine. But it wasn't his fault because the button asked if he was a bad boy and he was like, no, I'm, I'm just usually a nice person. Which set off all of her flight or fight response and she was like, I, I'm not taking the chance and buzzed. Nice to meet you. You too. Cole oh, likes to smell his dog. Oh, yeah. What? Do you, are you like a pet person? I mean, yeah, but like, what do you mean you like to smell your dog? <laughs> so you know how like, if there's someone you really like, you like the smell of them? Yeah, no, I mean, just as like, not even when he shampooed it, like the barber, just, just whatever. Oh. Just like smell my dog, I guess that's kind of weird. This is a power move I've never seen attempted before. Coming out the gates, calling him out on liking the smell of his dog, and him being very open about it, that yes, he loves to smell his dog. I'm sure you can imagine what happened next. They go on a second date, and they get married, and live happily ever after, and everybody clapped in the studio. He did a great job. Mm -hmm. She uh, posts very explicit pictures on Instagram, and I was like, you know, I understand that you're happy with your body, and I support you, mm -hmm. but at the same time, can we like dial it back just a little bit? Okay. And she didn't like that. Interesting. Wow, you about to hit the button on No, I got scared, I swear. <sighs> this guy seems like a saint, like goddamn. So she asked, what would your ex describe you? Like, how would your ex describe you? And he was just like super honest and open. Like, my ex would probably call me controlling, but here I'm going to defend myself against what my ex might say. And then goes in to say like, she used to post explicit content online and he's totally fine with that, supports her, but just asked if she'd dial it back and apparently she didn't like that. And she didn't press the button, so I mean, that's that's a good sign. I'd be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> I too would be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> you don't press me, you win the button. I'm not even gonna look at it, so if you hit it. Ouch. Why'd you reject me? I don't know, I just couldn't get over the little, like, thing that you were talking about with your ex. I kind of do like to post freely. I don't like anybody to hold me back. That was kind of my issue with my last relationship. Plot twist I'm sure you didn't see coming. This show continues to pack the wildest surprises you'd ever imagine. So instead of winning the competition, she throws no one wins. Uh, I will say I think the reasoning is still a bit weird because the guy even said like he was supportive of her. Just kind of asked like, hey, maybe just not so much so often, which I don't really think sounds unreasonable, nor does it really sound like it's holding her back. You know, it just, I don't know, didn't strike me as like a huge red flag kind of situation. But anyway, that's uh, that's where the button concludes. That's it. See ya.